Another reason you shouldn't get PRP is if you have moderate to severe or moderate to advanced hair loss, angiogenic alopecia especially, you're not going to get much of a benefit from PRP. So the cost to benefit to risk ratio is going to be low yield. You're not necessarily going to get a great deal out of PRP. It's better for people that have mild to moderate hair loss. And even then, there's no one standardized protocol. So it's hard to give people guarantees over what particular results they may achieve. But definitely, if you have moderate to severe hair loss, I would avoid PRP altogether. It's going to be low yield. And another thing is, if you're unwell yourself, if you have a coagulation issue or blood clotting disorders, or you're systemically unwell and you've had some infections systemically or in your blood, well, the likelihood of getting good platelets extracted from your blood is going to be low. So therefore, you would avoid something like platelet-rich plasma which is where the treatment utilizes the quality of your blood. So if your blood is not high quality, or if there's a reason that you couldn't get the platelet siphoned off from your blood, then you're likely not going to have the best chance of success with this treatment.